a lot of you guys told me to get a Yamaha MT-09 years ago, and I held off for numerous reasons, which some of them are actually true, uh, why you shouldn't get the MT-09, but I'll tell you overall, this is a really pretty cool bike, man, with a lot of grunt down low. <laughs> Uh, and I think it's a pretty cool looking bike. Some of you guys may think it's ugly. It may not be the prettiest bike, but I tell you, for the power you want out of here on the street, this is it. But man, I'm going to tell you, you know, I've had some different motorcycles. As you guys know, I had some Italian motorcycles, um, you know, various Japanese bikes, powerful bikes, small bikes, dual sports, super motos, you know, cruiser. But I'll tell you, there's a motorcycle that I always wanted. But I have yet to buy, and I want to get your opinion on it. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Oh, I love that triple cent engine, boy. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah you know what i'll tell you guys i love this helmet man it's really comfortable it's got this auto tint shield um ultra lightweight carbon fiber um i have a link to this helmet and this motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe gloves all my gear i always include links in the description and comment section of my video oh man but i'll tell you guys the motorcycle that i always wanted and I think it's one of the most beautiful motorcycles out there with, and everybody, a lot of people really love it. I mean, it's not the most perfect motorcycle, but it's really beautiful looking, powerful, lots of character. And it is a Ducati Pedagal 1299. I think it's beautiful, man. A lot of these people are getting the V4, which I think the V4, it looks all right, man. Don't get me wrong. Italy makes some sick looking bikes but I think the, the 1299 looks the best man that looks sick the 1199 looks cool too but those bikes are I love the, the twin cylinder engine that's on the Ducati I had the Ducati XDL S and that had the, uh, the, the twin cylinder engine on that oh my goodness that bike had all kinds of goodness to it man a torque <laughs> and I tell you that Panagal is a lightweight yes I do not need a super bike out here to be riding like I'm getting ready to do a push up <laughs> you know riding around here looking like a poser on you know like a posing racer out here on the street it ain't about that man it ain't about that at all it's about the character and feel of the bike and how lightweight it is those bikes are so lightweight man were they just a little over 400 pounds or so on a liter bike i'm telling you that they say those things will heat you up like crazy <laughs> uh but i'll tell you out here in the winter time I, I i actually like the heat of a bike this bike doesn't radiate any heat uh but in the summertime boy like that aprilia that i had that thing will heat roast you boy it gets hot so I know that Ducati will get you hot. But it's just such a beautiful bike. And I know y'all motor vlogger offered me his bike to buy. And I considered it actually, you know. I know everybody and their brother has done videos on the 1299. And I mean, it's kind of, it, I mean, it's, it's an old bike now. You know what I'm saying? The V4s are taking over. But I'll tell you, I actually, I love the V4 and the Priya Tuono. But I'll tell you guys, I like twins better. I like singles and twins better, man. I, of course, a single that's on my, my 450 race bike, Supermoto, which is basically a race bike. Um, that I, I By the way, I did a full build series on my Super, my 2019 YZ450FX Supermoto. Most fun motorcycle I ever owned, guys. The character on that is off the chain. The, the, oh my goodness. The gearing that I did on there was absolutely perfect and oh bus wheelies oh man it's something about the single thumpers and the twin cylinders really to get my mojo going man like i said the v4 is nice the inline four is nice but it's something about the thumper and the 
the twin cylinders man it's just ooh, i love it and i may end up getting that bike man i tell you that's a beautiful bike that's a bike you can showcase in your house <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's, it's so gorgeous it's like a like a beautiful statue and you can take out anytime you want to and have a good time on it man i don't know what do you guys think man you think the panic you think i should pick up a panagallic 1299 just for fun man i mean totally unnecessary for out here on the streets totally not the most comfortable bike to ride out here on the streets but it's it's not only the beautiful looks like i said the character of ducatis are amazing i said i'd never buy another one because we don't even have a ducati dealer here but from my understanding the 1299 they worked out a lot of the bugs that was in the panagals the 1199 they worked them out in the 1299 where that 1299 is pretty reliable man from my understanding and for the little bit of crapping around i do out here on the streets i highly doubt i'd have any problems with it man um but i don't know what do you guys think man you know I, i'm buying a, i'm working on buying another house and i want to have a uh i want to get like a garage where i can store multiple bikes you know that's why i've been selling bikes because i don't have room in my garage i wish i could keep all the bikes i had to be honest with you man and i had some really cool bikes i like i said that xd alba was dope i loved it man um even though i had some problems and the priya tuono was really nice too the v4 engine yeah it's i'll be honest with you v4 is really nice but man for me twins and thumpers baby all day what do you guys what what engine do you guys prefer let's talk about it in the comment section of this video that's why i do these videos guys i love conversing with you talking about this stuff i learn about some bikes that i didn't even know about that you tell me about and uh i learn stuff i share stuff with you guys that's why i create this community you know and i love it that's what keeps me doing these videos guys is, is actually conversing with you guys in the comments and stuff and uh and of course i love motor vlogging and and uh it's awesome man but and i appreciate all of you guys i really do Be <laughs> see that guy's moving I'm telling you, defensive riding one-on-one. -on -one. When you see that car moving, guys, I'm telling you, hit the horn throttle, get their attention. Be ready to stop because there's some fools out here, especially in the wintertime because they're not really expecting motorcycle riders here in the wintertime. So they're not really looking out for us, even though they don't in the summertime. But especially in the wintertime, you got to be careful. These fools, I already had a couple of them that almost try to pull out on me today but like i said i stay sharp out here even though i'm talking and i'm riding which i'm a professional motor vlogger <laughs> i'm staying sharp with these cars getting ready to pull out man because that's our that's your life out here guys yes it's all about survival out here on the streets it's not about power i tell you it's torque having fun with that torque out here ripping that throttle here and there like i'm doing this this mt09 which is perfect for the streets and staying sharp out here keeping these keeping these cagers at bay keeping up keeping them from setting us up for a real effed up day <laughs> yeah man i tell you there's so many awesome bikes out there guys it's really hard for me to choose you know what i'm saying the the 1299 is really not going to add probably too much really all that much content because like i said there's so much on youtube out there which there was for the mtl9 but i had to try the mtl9 man you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my All Over Motorcycle channel. Make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. Oh,